Martin, uh, what is the most interesting research being done at the moment studying twins? What are the things that you're finding out that are really interesting from studying identical twins? Well, first of all, Jenny, um, identical twins look great, but they're only half the story. Um, the, the genetic research that's being discussed depends equally upon the uh, cooperation of non-identical twins, who are not getting much of a show tonight. So <laughs> I think we should uh, perhaps have a hand at the end for the non-identical twins who are the other half of the story, <laughs> because we need to compare the twins who share all their genes um, and uh, so any differences between them must be environmental with the non-identical twins who share only half their genes but also have similar environmental circumstances in their rearing so the two types are, uh, are terrific uh, controls for each other and the Australian Twin Registry which has gathered about 30,000 of these pairs of twins from around the country including many of the pairs here I know uh, to take part in medical research experiments actually uh, relies on both of these kinds of twins and um, as the, the, t the segment just indicated the range of topics that people have investigated is just huge there's almost no aspect of the human condition that you could look at including you know the genetics of having your appendix out of having your tonsils out uh, of your cholesterol level of your IQ of your personality of your fingerprints of how much money you make of how much TV you watch uh, there's almost nothing uh, no aspect of uh, you know the sort of people you marry uh, uh, no aspect of the human condition hasn't been looked at and the overwhelming conclusion from about the last uh, 30 or 40 years of this work that's been done on a very large scale is just the pervasiveness of genetic influence.